Hello everyone, this is Arohi and welcome to my channel. So guys, in my today's tutorial, I will show you how to build your custom instance segmentation web application using Mascar CNN algorithm and a Flask uh, framework. Okay, so guys, before moving to the tutorial, first I want to show you the demo app. So by the end of our today's tutorial, you'll be able to develop this kind of application on your custom data set. So let's see that. So you, this is the first screen right and you will choose the image from here so let's say i'm choosing this image and then click on a predict when you click on this predict button so what we are doing is on the back end we are using the mask car cnn trained model we are calling that train model uh, over here and then this kind of result you'll get so you can see that it is detecting hard hat and safety vest over here and you can see the mask also right so uh, guys if you want to learn how to train your custom mask or cnn model on your custom data set then you can check my previous video in that video i have explained step by step how to prepare your, your data set first and then how to train your model how to test your model right so go through that video first if you want to learn how to train your model so link is given in description section and once you train that model you'll get a trained um, model file so we are using that train model file over here right inside a function and then we are calling that function on this predict button and then it will show you the output like this okay so this is what we are going to do today so now let me show you what all things you need to do to get to make this kind of application okay so so in this folder i'm working flask underscore mrcnn okay so guys the first thing is you can see that i have this folder over here mrcnn so uh, if you'll check my previous video in that video i have explained everything like how and from where to get this folder in this folder we have all the files all the you know um mask our cnn related training files and visualization uh, visualization files all those things are here so you'll get this folder and the static and templates folder these two folders are um, are related to our flask application so you can get these folder from my github repo right so this static folder the static folder have all the css file which we are using so you can see here so this designing part all the css we have written that code in a css folder okay static folder and then we have this templates folder inside this templates folder you can see we have different folders this photo index right these kind of different folders so this index let me open this file so you can see here this these four lines you can see i'm, I'm using a form tag over here to create a form and i'm calling a predict function this predict function i have created in my python file i'll show you in a minute like what that function have what that fun function contains okay so right now just uh, understand this that on this form tag i'm calling the predict function and this predict function is in a, our python file and then here we are having one this input type is equal to file and then we have a button with the name of predict so you can see those things over here so input type equals to file will give you uh, this kind of um, browsing option okay you can click here and you can choose the uh, image on which you want to work and then this this is a predict button when we click on this predict button what happens we are calling this predict function now where this predict function is this predict function is in our here this is the predict function okay so this predict function is in which file new app.py file so where is this new app.py file here you can see new app okay new app.py file and this this is the trained model okay this model is uh, making the predictions and from where i got this trained model so for that i have trained the mask or cnn model over here here okay so inside this logs folder so guys again don't worry about these files because uh, in my previous video i have explained it so if you'll check that video first so you will automatically get to know like what these folders are and um, where to get all these files okay so over here you can see 
I have trained my model for 300 epoch. So I copied the trained model from here and then in my flask app folder I pasted it over here. So this is my trained model. Okay. And this uploads folder, this folder you have to create it yourself. Whatever file you will upload uh, through this over here. Okay, where is that? Whatever file you'll upload from here, that file, that image will get stored in that uploads folder. Okay, so now let's see this predict function. So inside this predict function, this line, this line will read the image from here. Whatever image you are selecting over here, so we are reading it and storing it in this variable. And then we are using CM, uh, the CV2 module because we want to um, uh, we want to read the image using OpenCV. Okay, so that's what we are doing. And then over here, I'm calling the inference config file. So guys, uh, let me show you the inference config file first. So remember in mask or CNN, whenever you want to work on your custom data set, we create our custom config file. So this is my custom config file and the data and the classes, the, the problem which I'm working, that has two classes, hardhead and safety vest. And additionally, there will be one more class background. So this one means background class and this two means hardhead and safety vest, two classes, okay? And images per GPU is four in my case. So my GPU memory is 24 GB. So that's why I'm using four images. So it can handle four images. But if your GPU memory is 12 GB, then you can use two images. And as per your resources, you have to write images per GPU, okay? GPU count is one because I'm using one GPU, okay? And this is the detection minimum confidence. You can change it, okay, as per your requirement. And then from this my custom config class, I am creating a, another class with the name of inference config. So whenever I want to test my model, I will use the configurations which are present over here in this class. So what I've done is GPU count one, I'm using one GPU for testing my model. And then image per GPU is one because I want to test one image at a time. So that's why I'm writing image, uh, G, image per GPU is one. And this is the confidence score. You can change it again. So let's suppose if your model is not trained properly or not giving you very good results, then you can decrease the value over here and then you can see the output. Okay. So now I'm calling this inference config file in this variable. So now I want to run this mask our CNN model in inference mode. And this is my configuration file inference configuration over here. We are done. Okay. So after that, this is the configuration file. Okay, now again, come here. So this is what I've written. We are recreating the model over here like this. And this is the name of my trained model. Okay, so this trained model we are going to use. We want to load this trained model and then we want to use it for uh, predictions. Okay, so we are loading the model by like, like this. You can load the model like this. And in this line, we are performing the detections okay so the image this image this image we are reading it using the open cv and image is a variable where our image is right now so that image we are providing to our model and we are performing the detections and then in this mask variable we are storing the mask of that detected image over here the class id and all these things are like this okay and then using this display instances uh, function which is in a visualized file so we are displaying the output okay and then we are going back to our index.html page so this is this uh, all about this application okay so let's run that application one more time so we will choose the file from here let's close the earlier one first let's Let's choose the file from here. Suppose you want to check on this. Now let's perform the predictions and you will see the output here. Okay. So yeah, you can see this hard hat and the safety vest. Okay. 
so uh, this is how this application work now guys for the let's suppose if you want to store this image right the image with the detected uh, objects and the mask if you want to store this image then what you can do is i have commented out the section you can see that i'm calling this visual i'm um, this thing okay put it in a variable so i'm putting it in a fig variable and then i want to save the detected image with this name and fig okay dot save figure using this you can store the save the image okay with this name in your current working directory okay so guys now i'll share this code in my description section you can check uh, you can try that code and again guys just check the first video first how to train your mask or cnn model okay then only you will understand this code all right so i hope this video is helpful thank you for watching